Hello, I pray that you're well today. Today we conclude our looking at the book of Titus, chapter 3. But avoid foolish controversies and genealogies and arguments and quarrels about the law, because these are unprofitable and useless. Have you taken notice of how many times in First and Second Timothy and in Titus, the conversation is, what is our conversation about? We should avoid foolish controversies. We avoid genealogies. We avoid arguments and quarrels about the law. Why? Because they are unprofitable and they are useless. So we should talk only about the things that matter to God and not the things that don't matter to God. In fact, he goes on to say in verse 10, warn a divisive person once and then warn him a second time. After that, have nothing to do with them. Warn a divisive person. Being divisive, just trying to create a problem. So in essence, we are not the kind of individuals who should go back again. We shouldn't be divisive, and we shouldn't encourage division. Have nothing to do with them. For he goes on to say, you may be sure that such people are warped and sinful, and they are self-condemned. In other words, you can't do anything about it. Warn a divisive person once, and then a second time, and then... Do not give them credence to be able to do it. As soon as I send Artemis or Tychicus to you, do your best to come to me at Nicopolis because I've decided to winter there. As soon as those two individuals come, you come to me. And here's the phrase, verse 13. Do everything you can to help. Zenos the lawyer and Apollos on their way and seeing they have everything they need. Do everything you can to help. What a great phrase. Do everything you can to help. What, what's our, my goal today? Do everything I can to help. To see that they have everything they need. Our people must learn to devote themselves to doing what is good in order to prefer, provide for urgent needs and not live unproductive lives. We should devote ourselves to doing what's good. Do good. Do the next right thing. For what reason? In order to provide for urgent needs, you've been given gifts to provide other people's needs. I've been given gifts to provide other people's needs and that you and I might not live unproductive lives. We can spend our time doing things that don't matter or we can spend our, times doing, or spend our time doing what's good to meet urgent needs of other people's lives. Everyone with me sends you greetings. Greet those who love us in the faith. Grace be with you all. Do good. Do good. Do everything you can to do good. Then you and I will not live unproductive lives. We will be meeting urgent needs. How many needs do you see around you? Many. You know, we're beginning another thing. The other day when I was giving out the, the sandwiches and the water and I was driving around the center part of the city of Phoenix, I saw many, many, many people in this very sweltering heat. It happened to be over 115 that day. And so we are going to do a gathering, an, an in-gathering of water so that we can put it in coolers and simply go and deliver it to those who just need cold water. So when we give out food, we're also gonna give out water. Candidly, if anything's an urgent need in a 115 degree plus weather, that's it. It's an urgent need. And that you and I might, in the name of Jesus, give a cup of cold water. Let's pray. Dear God, bless us. Bless us that we would avoid things that don't matter and that we would do what does matter, that we would devote ourselves to doing what's good, to provide for urgent needs, and not live unproductive lives. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you today.